Hello and welcome back to Ganesh Institute channel. So in today's video we are going to discuss about absolute convergence of series. You know when you have absolute values in integers, if I ask you that you have value 2 and find out its absolute value, so absolute means the modulus, the positive value, so it will be 2 but for minus 2 it will also be 2 right so these are the absolute values so when it comes to absolute convergence also so basically we have uh, so many examples already done so far with different different tests to uh, know the convergence of series right it's just that when you find out the general term you need to check its modulus as well if it is convergent then it is convergence of series but if it's if its modulus is also convergent then that means this series is having absolute convergence okay so let's try with this example if you see question is given to you that there's the convergence of series this so first of all what's the first task you need to find out the general term right so what would be the general term if you see signs are changing that means you need to keep something which is minus 1 raised to power n something like that right and then if you see you have x square x4 x6 something with something called x with multiple of 2 right then you have in denominator 2 factorial 4 factorial that means whatever power you are having that is the factorial that means 2n then 2n factorial right so if we think of this is your general term if you want to find out the convergence apply any of the tests which suit this condition let's say dale Lambert's test again we have been using it many times right for many times dale Lambert's ratio test so this would be what you need to find out the next term the final u n plus 1 that means minus 1 raised to power n plus 1 x raised to power 2 when you put n plus 1 here here so 2 n plus 2 right then 2 n again yeah if you put n plus 1 here so this will become 2 n plus 2 right so this is your u n plus 1 now what you need to find out limit n tends to infinity un plus 1 by un or you could do it you know if you we are applying d lambert's ratio test here you could do it with Leibniz test as well if you want to apply it would be easier than that one because for Leibniz we know we have two situations to be satisfied one is that every successive term should be less than the uh, general term I mean the previous term and the limit should be zero limit n tends to infinity un should be zero right so let's see whether these two terms are being applied or not so un plus one I mean every next term if you see this is in negative this is one divide by two factorial that means it is of course less than this right so that means first condition is satisfied right and second condition so you have your general term general term is this so if you apply minus 1 raised by n x raised to power 2n by 2n factorial there is no chance uh, how we can deduct this n or remove this n by taking common right n will be in denominator so if you put n as infinity it will be 1 by infinity that means 0 so second condition is also satisfied that means according to Leib, uh, Leibniz test is it is what convergent the series is convergent now because we need to find out absolute convergence for say for example let's say it is the absolute convergence for the series so in that case what you need to do you know you need to take the modulus you need to find out the value whether it is true it is convergent or not for the absolute value okay so if you see this minus one fact if you are taking modulus then minus one will will be removed because we only need to take what positive value right so simply this form we will take so x raised to power 2n plus 2 by 2n plus 2 factorial this is for un plus 1 
and for u n you have this value which is x raised to power 2n by 2n factorial right so x raised to power 2n plus 2 by 2n plus 2 factorial and this will go upside down that means this way right so base same power subtracted right so 2n will be cancelled with 2 you have got x square and here you know the principle to solve factorial terms if you expand one factorial anything then you need to keep moving on in decreasing direction 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 right so similarly if you see this is 2n so we can reduce this term to 2n right and wherever you will stop you need to if you are stopping here you need to apply a factorial there so similarly if you apply here 2n plus 2 then 1 less which is 2n plus 1 then 1 less which is 2n stop here so this got cancelled you have got this bit limit n tends to infinity this is very important to apply right limit n tends to infinity so if you see this is there is no chance you can take n as common and cancel it so 1 by n square is this having so 1 by n in infinity that means 0 0 is of course less than 1 and we have been applying uh, J Lambert's ratio test which means if the value is less than 1 that means the series is convergent so I'm hoping you got this that for absolute convergence we have been doing how to find the convergence of general term but when it comes to absolute convergence you need to take the modulus of that if modulus of un will also be convergent then the series is called absolute convergent series okay i hope you understand it and if so then don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel till my next video take care of yourself bye bye